All right, welcome back to lesson 8.3, Special Right Triangles, as part of our Right Triangles in Trigonometry Unit. We are starting out with, in this part, our 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. In the last part, it was the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So if you're looking for that one, look for um, the first part of this lesson. But um, 30, 60, 90 degree triangles, it's going to be half of a regular triangle or an equilateral triangle or equiangular triangle so if you notice that an equilateral equiangular triangle is 60 60 and 60 degrees so if I cut it down the middle each part of your half of a triangle has a 60 degree angle and then a 30 degree angle and then that right triangle. So that's where they're, we're getting this 30, 60, 90 degree triangle from or it could just be based off of um, its own self. Again, you can solve this by using the Pythagorean theorem, but using these shortcuts is going to um, help you get the most exact answer as well as it'll be quicker than doing the Pythagorean theorem. So in a 30-60-90 triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is two times the length of the shorter leg. So my hypotenuse is two times the length of the shorter leg, S. And the length of the longer leg is the square root of three times the length of the shorter leg. So notice both of these formulas, I need the shorter leg. So how do I know which one's the shorter leg and which one's the longer leg? Okay, so your short leg, if you recall, is going to be across from the smaller angle. So um, your short leg will be across from the 30 degree angle. And your long leg will be across from the longer angle which is your 60 degree angle so just be aware of that <clears throat> so your short leg times 2 gives you your hypotenuse and your short leg times the square root of 3 gives you your long leg so here are our two formulas that we are going to focus on your hypotenuse equals your short leg times 2 and your, hypo or your long leg equals your short leg times the square root of 3. So let's see how we can practice some of these. So I need to find the value of x. Keep my answer in simplest radical form. So again, you could use the Pythagorean theorem in some way, but keeping it in simplest radical form, using the process will be so much easier. So we know that PR is our long leg because it is across from your 60 degree angle and it is not the hypotenuse. So I know that um, PQ is my short leg. So I have short and my long, so I need to use my long leg equals my short times the square root of three. So it may look challenging, but just start out with plugging in what you know. I know that X is my long leg equals my short leg 4 square root of 3 over 3 times square root of 3. And you can think about that as 3 over 1. So, again, don't think of the process. Don't think of all the radicals and fractions and all that stuff. So on top, I know that the outside 4 talks to the outside 1, so that would be 4. Square root of 3 it times the square root of 3 I also know is 3 with our process and then divided by 3 times 1 is 3. So I'm just going to continue to simplify 4 times 3 is 12 over 3. So really my long leg equals 4 and that's it. Again, set it up and then solve how you know how to solve radicals. All right, let's keep going. So now in this problem, I need to keep my answer in simplest radical form. And I need to find y, and y is my hypotenuse, because it is across from my right angle. And 
and I know that 4 square root of 3 over 3 is my short leg because it's across from my 30 degree angle. So I'm going to use my hypotenuse equals my short leg times 2. And again, don't think of all the radicals, just plug in what you know. My hypotenuse is y, my short leg is 4 square root of 3 over 3. And then I'm going to multiply, finishing out my formula, over 1. Alright, so start on top. 4 and 2 are outside, so that would be 8. Square root of 3 has nothing to talk to, so I'm going to leave it be over 3. And you can't simplify anything, because 8 divided by 3 would give me a decimal, so you are finished, and that is your answer. That is your hypotenuse. All right, stop and try your checkpoint. Try to find BC. Here is your answer. All right. A quilt has the design shown in the figure in which a square is divided into eight isosceles Trying right triangles. Eight isosceles right triangles. Remember we talked about our isosceles triangles being our 45, 45, 90 degree right triangle. So keep that in mind. If the length of one side of the square is three inches, so this entire length of my square is three inches, what, what are the dimensions of each triangle? So I want to find the dimensions of each of these. Because it's a, a square, each triangle in our square is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle because that diagonal will cut everything in half. So I know that it is an isosceles right triangle. So let's bring that out over here and see if we can find the, the dimensions of each triangle. I know that that entire length is 3, so I know that isosceles triangle it cuts it in half so each of these sides is 1.5 so now I need to find the diagonal of my square or the diagonal of my quilt you will have problems that ask you for the diagonal of a square and this would be how you would do it so keep that in mind so I know 45 45 90 I have my hot hypotenuse equals my leg times the square root of 2. We need to remember those formulas. So my hypotenuse, which I'll call x, equals my leg 1.5 times the square root of 2. And I am finished. My hypotenuse equals this. My leg equals 1.5 inches. Don't forget to use your units. All right, try your checkpoint right below that. There are your answers, and that concludes our unit on special right triangles 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90.